A live look from Sacramento tonight. Two Bay Area men are accused of plotting to blow up Democratic targets at the state capitol. They are charged with conspiring to firebomb Democratic headquarters. KPIX 5's Andrea Nakano joins us live from Vallejo, where the second suspect was arrested. Andrea? Liz, Ian Rogers from Napa has been in custody since January, but authorities just arrested Jared Copeland from Vallejo here yesterday. According to the DOJ, not only did these men talk about it, but they had enough firepower to carry out their attacks. Authorities already caught up to this man, Ian Rogers from Napa, on January 15th. They searched his home and his business, British Auto Repair, where they seized a collection of about 50 guns, thousands of rounds of ammunition, and five pipe bombs. The indictment describes how Rogers communicated with 37-year-old Jared Copeland on multiple messaging platforms. Authorities say Rogers wrote, I want to blow up a Democrat building bad. Copeland responding, I I agree. Plan attack. The rhetoric that he's espousing on his, you know, his chat that, um, you know, talked about all the hate and discontent he had for if, you know, if Trump didn't win the election. I mean, those kind of things, I mean, people take that real seriously today. KPIX security analyst and former FBI agent Jeff Hart believes someone on the inside came forward to authorities. These domestic terrorism cases are usually initiated by an undercover operation or an informant or somebody tipping somebody off. DOJ says that Rogers wrote to Copeland after January 20th, we go to war. The 20th was inauguration day as President Joe Biden took over the White House. After Rogers was arrested on the 15th, investigators say Copeland, who lives in Vallejo, reached out to a leader of a militia group and was told to delete all communication. By the time DOJ seized Copeland's devices on the 17th, messages to Rogers were deleted. Andrea, do we know if any more arrests are expected in this case? Well, the FBI in San, San Francisco is still investigating this case along with the FBI in Sacramento and the Napa County Sheriff's Department. So more charges and arrests could follow. But there is that issue of the deleted evidence. But Jeff Harp also told me that at least with these two men, the U.S. Attorney's Office wouldn't have taken on this case if it didn't have enough evidence to get a conviction in this case. All right. Andrea, thank you.